And the winner to my last video's giveaway is... Congratulations, message me and I will get that sent out right to you. For those of you that are new to my channel, hello, my name is V. I post nail tutorials every Thursday and Sunday at 8.15 a.m. Central Time. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you do not miss out on future videos as I do insert giveaways in them randomly. I just wanted to take a second and thank you guys for your feedback on my last video. If you did not watch it already, I did ask a question and that question was, what was your favorite video that I have uploaded on my channel? Not only did that enter you into my giveaway, but it also gave me really valuable feedback. And I probably should have asked this a long time ago to give me a little bit of insight of what you guys really love watching on my channel. And the top three videos that you guys really seemed to enjoy were this one, this one, and this one. So for today's video, I want you guys to comment down below what type of videos you guys want to see more on my channel, whether it's Q&As, watch me work videos, sit down talk videos, or just nail tutorials in general. I want to hear that from you guys so I can do more content for you guys that you guys actually enjoy. That being said, your girl is getting away from nudes for one video. If you have been a subscriber, a follower for a while now, you guys might know that have a little bit of an obsession with doing nude nails, you know, just a little bit. But I did push myself with this one and I did black and white. I hope you guys enjoy it. It was a little bit challenging for me to kind of get into what the heck I was even doing. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And now let's get right into the video. Getting right into today's video, I did pre-apply the tips to the practice hand and I am using the universal tips from Not Polish. Make sure you guys check them out. They are amazing. And don't forget to use my discount code to save a little bit of money. I am using black acrylic from Not Polish. Let me tell you guys how smooth this powder is. Aside from all of their other colors that we already know, they have that buttery feel to them. Black is one of those colors that you do not expect to be super smooth because it's so pigmented. But this colored acrylic is so bomb. It blends so nicely. It's so smooth. I definitely recommend you guys check out their black acrylic if you guys are having troubles using any other black acrylic. I freaking love it. It blends so good. So now that that's out of the way i am using this glitter mix from profiles backstage it has a matte chunky white glitter and then it has some tiny specks of gold in it as well and then i'm just layering on top of that some gold foils from profiles backstage as well i did lay a small bead of clear acrylic so that this product can adhere to it because I am using loose glitter you want to make sure you encapsulate properly so I'm going in and just spreading them out so it kind of ombres down into the clear tip Once I'm happy with the placement of the glitter, I am going in with my clear acrylic from Not Polish and just encapsulating that nail very quickly. Whenever I'm doing glitter and I need to encapsulate it, I go ahead and do it before I move on to the rest of the nails just because I don't want any of that glitter to move out of place.
for this set I wanted to do a really monochromatic look and definitely stay away from the nude colors and these summer bright colors that we have been doing a lot of lately so I'm placing that black acrylic and applying that on the surface of the entire nail for my ring finger and like I said, this black is really easy to work with. You do want to continuously wipe your brush on your napkin just to make sure you're removing any excess pigment off of your brush so you don't contaminate the monomer with that pigment. And then you can easily use your black and your white alternating it without any issues. If you leave your brush extremely dirty, it will color the monomer black and then when you go on with your white acrylic it's not going to be as vibrant so just a quick little tip now i am doing purple white from not polish and applying that on to my middle finger so i'm doing half and half for example i did black with white and gold on the pinky then i'm doing black on the ring finger for my middle finger of course i am placing that white acrylic and then I wanted to flip it. So on my index finger, it's going to be white with black matte flakes and accents of gold. I thought this would be pretty cool because I know a lot of people like to do different designs all the time. So I figured I would give it a go and I thought it did look really neat, especially with the white and black combo. So for this video, I am using my acrylic brush from Profiles Backstage. This is the Sculpt It Like It's Hot in the number six, and I'm using their acrylic monomer as well. Don't forget, I link all of the products down in the description box. If I happen to miss one, go ahead and comment down below and I will update that. So I'm going in, like I said, with my purple white onto my index finger. And now I'm taking these matte black flakes from profiles backstage and I'm going to be applying that in the same shape that I applied it on the pinky. Again, you want to have a wet base or lay down some clear acrylic just so that the loose glitters adhere to it. I'm just gently picking it up with my brush and then placing them onto that wet surface and it adheres perfectly to it. I'm going to go ahead and spread them out just lightly and then add some gold glitter and the gold foils. So now I'm taking my clear acrylic once again and I am going to be encapsulating my nails. So I get asked a lot why I encapsulate my colored acrylic. The reason behind it is because your girl is cheap. <laughs> I like to save product. So whenever I am using my colored acrylic, I use it very lightly. So I'll use a very thin layer of it as long as it covers, you know, and it is as opaque as I want it to be. And then I add the extra thickness and support that I need for the nail using clear acrylic. You can find clear acrylic in larger containers and it's inexpensive compared to your colored acrylics. So basically I'm just trying to save product so I don't have to keep buying more colored acrylics and all I have to restock is my clear acrylic. If you guys are having trouble with your acrylic application, I recommend you guys to go check out my liquid to powder ratio video. This is going to be crucial when applying your acrylic. Once you get those steps down, your acrylic application is going to change dramatically. I will have it linked in the cards in this video so you guys can check it out when you guys are ready to do so.
So I'm lightly tapping the surface of the nail just to make sure that it makes that clicking noise and this basically tells you that it is fully dry and you can go ahead and start filing. So for my filing process, I am using my Kiara Sky Rechargeable e-file. I have it in pink, but they also have it in white, so go check them out. They're so freaking pretty. I am using it at a speed of about 9,000 RPMs. And for this step, I am using my 5-in-1 bit from Kiara Sky as well. And this is fine. I like to use my fine bits for finished filing because it ensures that it's not going to remove a lot of product and all I want to do is smooth out that surface. I've talked about this in my past videos but the fact that it's tapered in at the tip of the bit is game changing because you can perfectly file around the cuticle area and then use the thicker part of the bit to file the rest of the surface of the nail. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to finish this. Another video that I do recommend you guys to check out is my how to e-file video. Everything you need to know about e-filing my way. So go check it out if you guys are having issues or if you're too scared to use an e-file. I show you exactly how I use mine in order to be safe with it and file a nail successfully. I'm going in with my Tommy Taylor peel and stick file and just filing the nails into shape. You want to make sure you don't skip this step because you want your shape to be nice and crisp. So I'm going in on the sides and then I'm going to file lightly the surface of the nail just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and that the transition from the cuticle area down to the tip is perfect. I'm going to go ahead and continue to do that on the rest of the nails. A quick little tip on hand filing long nails is to use your file vertically and file up and down as you can see me doing. This is going to ensure that you have that smooth transition from the cuticle down to the tip but also you are going to cover more surface of the nail which means it's going to be less filing. If I were to file horizontally it will take me a lot longer as I'm only covering sections of it at a time and it doesn't necessarily mean that everything is going to be nice and flush so if you guys are struggling try this method on long nails it is so much easier If you are struggling with your nail shapes or are a nail beginner and are having troubles or just want to kind of touch up your nail shaping, go check out my nail shaping video. I go really in depth and I show you the process from beginning to end and exactly how I do my nail shaping. I know the tips that I use on my practice hand don't do any justice because they are already pre-shaped. So make sure you guys check that out. I do show you guys really in depth. So I am turning the hand around to look at the nails from the client perspective. I say this all the time, do not skip this step because you will be able to see any flaws that they might see and you can't see from your view. So I'm just going in and scoring off that shape, making sure everything is nice and perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Now I am going in with my sponge buffer from Profiles Backstage and lightly buffing the surface of the nail, making sure everything is nice and smooth as I am going to be doing just a little bit of nail art and you want a very smooth surface so that the application process is perfect. Taking my lint free wipe and some swipe, I am going to be cleansing the surface of the nail and my practice hand. I want to make sure all the dust is fully removed, at least as much as I can. When doing this on a client, you might want to have them wash their hands, but I personally prefer to use this method as it's quicker and I don't have to worry about them wandering off in the salon and taking too long to come back. So. I do recommend this. It serves the same purpose and you get it done a lot faster. Now I am taking these adhesive decals from Profiles Backstage. I freaking love them and I want to get all of them. These are black and then they have white, gold, and silver I believe. Um, and they have a ton of different designs as well so go check them out. As you can see, I was kind of trying to figure out which ones to use and they were a little bit tricky to remove off of that sheet. But once you get the hang of it, I kind of say that now, but you guys are going to laugh at me whenever I'm placing the other one. Um, so I'm just taking some tweezers that I got off of Amazon and applying that onto wherever part of the nail that I want to place it and then just pressing it in. So here I'm taking this bigger butterfly I don't know what was wrong with me, but I could not remove it from that plastic backing. Look at how long it's taken me to remove that. And I almost edited this out, but I was like, no, let them know you suck at life sometimes. <laughs> Still nothing I still couldn't remove it and then finally I got a little bit off and I was like do not stick back onto it that was like my thought process and so I bent it a little bit and I was like boom got it now I'm going to be placing that on the nail and kind of just seeing how I like it placed I love that these are outlined only so it looks like you drew it on there perfectly And now you're just going to press it firmly onto the nail once you place it exactly where you want it. They lay perfectly flat too, which I freaking love. Now I'm going to be top coating this nail because I'm going to be doing some sugaring afterwards. So I'm using Matte It from Not Polish and applying that over the surface of the nail. Make sure you cure this for at least 60 seconds and it will be super pretty. I love this matte top coat because it's very velvety and I literally run my fingers over the surface of the nail a thousand times because it just feels so smooth. Now I'm taking my black gel paint and I'm going to be doing some line art and then I'm going to be doing sugaring on top. So I am using my nail art brush from Amazon. Like I said, all the products will be linked in the description box. So 
So I start on one side, do the curve, and then I finish it off by doing the other side. And this is real time. I did not fast forward anything at all whatsoever because I wanted you guys to see exactly the process of how long it takes me. And I'm going to be doing a thicker line right on top of that as well. I'm just tidying up any little parts that might be slightly crooked. Now I'm going in with my second line. And I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but if you are new, I like to rest my pinky on either my own hand or on the client's hand just to stabilize my brush. This helps control that movement a lot better. Now that I'm content with that, you want to make sure that the gel paint is not cured. Do not place it in the light. Go ahead and use that wet surface of it and apply your loose glitter to it. Here I'm just using a fine black glitter and pouring it over that, lightly tapping off the excess, placing it into the light for 30 seconds. Once it's done, I take it out and lightly dust off any excess glitter that did not adhere to it. This is such an easy process and I think it looks so freaking pretty. So now I'm doing white gel paint on my black nail. I figured it would be the perfect monochromatic look if I alternated it on this nail. So I am doing white nail art for this one. And then I decided not to add the white butterflies on the ring finger just because I didn't want it to be too much. So I'm finishing off this line art and of course I'm going to be doing sugaring on this one as well. So it is all nice and cohesive. I'm doing two lines on this finger. The other one I'm doing it right under the first line. And like I said, don't cure it in the light. Go ahead and leave it wet and then pour your glitter onto it and cure for 30 seconds. Now I'm just dusting off that excess glitter and then I'm going to be top coating. For my top coat, I am using the Not Polish Matte It. I didn't want to do shiny just because the ring finger and the middle finger were already matte. So I'm um, sorry if you guys wanted to see this look in shiny, but I am using Matte It from Not Polish and applying that onto my pinky and my index finger as the other ones are already finished and ready to go. Placing that into the light for at least 60 seconds. That basically concludes this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below and I will catch you guys next time.